welcome to Adventure More Acres. This is the day that we are going to take care of our three roosters. We have had them separated from the hens and the food for approximately 48 hours. Um, we had to separate them. We were going to wait another couple of weeks, but they were getting pretty mean and nasty to each other and left us no choice. My hens have been hiding out in here. I still have two roosters that are nice. Just wanted to show you this is our cone where the rooster will go in upside down and then we will slice the artery and it will drain the blood out and then we will defeather it by putting it into the boiling water for about a minute at over 140 degrees. Pretty much dipping it, letting it sit for 20, to minute, 20 seconds to a minute, taking it out and the feathers should come off real easy. After removing the feathers, we will come over to this table where we will use a knife and we will remove the insides. Once we remove all the guts from the insides, we'll throw them into our nasty pail. And then we will drop them into this ice bucket. This is an ice and vinegar bath where it will sit for about an hour. Then we will move it over here to just plain ice water and the ice water bucket. And here they will sit for approximately 24 hours or you can refrigerate them after a few hours in the ice bucket and refrigerate for 24 hours before wrapping and freezing. I'm gonna do this in many segments so that you can get a chance to see the different stages. But as of right now, we are going to start with our first rooster and I don't want to show videos of actually hurting the rooster. But this is how to call a mean rooster or a meat bird. Here is Adventure More Part 2, Culling Mean Chickens. You see our cone here and how it works. We have put the rooster in, his feet are up top here, bringing his head out the bottom, making it easy to get a hold of his neck. And watching this one over here is having a fit because he knows he's next. This is Part 2 of Culling the Mean Chickens at Adventure More Acres. My hens can't wait to have their run back. This here is the fifth rooster I discovered. He's still showing signs. I don't see the actual saddle feathers coming out yet, but his comb and his coloring indicates Easter egg being a rooster. So we'll wait and see if he crows. And down here are the hens. There's my other nice rooster. That's Loki. He's a pretty good rooster so far. He has not been a problem. He does not hurt anyone. Again, going over the setup, we've got our boiling water ready to defeather and our table ready to degut, vinegar bath, and ice water bath. Adventure More Acres, part three calling mean roosters. And we are dipping in almost boiling hot water, 140 degrees, to defeather. Now they have a really cool machine that you can purchase that will defeather the bird for you. You just drop it in, it spins it around until all the feathers have been sucked off. But uh, if you notice here, he just pulled on those feathers and they just came right out. So as you can tell, just by grabbing a couple here and there, you'll see they'll start coming out real easy and coming off real easy. And we are going to defeather our bird. Notice how easy these feathers are coming off. If he has any trouble, then we're just going to dip him back into the hot water and continue to keep pulling off all the feathers. I see what's starting to look a little bit like a store-bought chicken down there. This is uh, my first time calling a chicken. Here at Adventure More Acres. This is something that we may do if need be. We know how now and have the utensils to do so. Any questions, please put them in the comments. If you don't have something nice to say, don't say anything at all. This will be food on our table. We are not wasting meat. 
This was a very mean, nasty bird that attacked all of the hens and roosters. See a nice little chicken leg right there. Stay tuned for part four, where we will be removing the chicken innards and prepping it for freezers. Adventure More Acres, part four, calling a mean rooster. Uh, this is an Easter egger. They're considered a meat and egg layers. So we will be eating this mean rooster that we are calling. He is all defeathered. We're removing his wings, his feet, and his neck parts that we don't eat and we have our parts bucket makes it nice and easy as soon as we get those feet cut off here which should be real easy to do right around if you notice how he is loosening that leg bone there and through the tendons He's already removed the neck. There goes one foot. And then we're going to cut him open and remove the lungs, heart, liver, gizzard, uh, the intestines, the stomach. There you go a learning project, learning as we go. And where are you going with him now? Oh. Make sure that we have all these feathers off here. We don't want to accidentally end up with any feathers on the inside while we're cutting him and finishing cleaning him. There is a gland on the inside that you definitely don't want to pop open. It's on the gizzard. Yeah, you don't want to pop anything open. You want to be able to open him easily, uh, carefully, and remove all of his insides without opening any of them up. Otherwise, you will have a funky tasting chicken, to put it nicely. We are going to cut right up through, I'm assuming, the anus area. Oh. Clean off our table so we don't get any feathers on them. Sorry y'all happen to like wander around with me. This is our first time so it's a learning curve and we did the smallest rooster just in case we mess up. It's a lesson learned. We'll be calling three of our roosters tonight. They hurt each other, they hurt the hens, and they came after us. So they will not be staying. That means we are down to 16 chickens in our, I mean, uh, from 16, we're down to 13 chickens in our flock. They are 17 weeks old. You can call a meat bird, um, Anywhere between 16 and 20 weeks, um, around four months old is about a good time, and they're nice and fat. Uh, you don't want to wait too long after they're six months old, or um, they start to get tough, a little harder to eat. I want you to see the inside there, see that sack? You're going to want to pull that out real carefully without popping it. And yeah, my husband's doing the dirty work. I said I was going to do it, but I think he just knows me better. Mm -hmm. I think you have to go through the back, the front end too. To loosen it up. A 
evidently harder than it looks. I want to use your, ooh, those are the things that you don't want to break. Oh, that was a lung there to hit the ground. There's some more. Use your knife and cut that off rather than pulling. You might accidentally. I'm a backseat driver too, don't worry. So you don't get any of that back into. Hold him still. I'm going to hold Mr. Chicken. His name was Mickey. Well, his original name was Everest because we thought it was a hen. When we found out it was a rooster, his name was changed to Mickey Mouse. And he has, uh, my son has learned that he, his chicken will be going to freezer camp because he didn't know how to behave. I don't think a seven-year-old that just moved to the mountains less than a year ago will fully understand that we are eating his belly. Eventually, yes, and he'll be helping. But right now, yeah, that let's keep the innocence a little bit longer. Again, you see how he's just making sure all of the organs are removed from the chicken? And then he's going to also want to make sure to remove that neck part that's sticking there. Which oh. he's up and moving around. After the vinegar bath, you'll notice here we have three chickens on ice. You'll be wrapping them up tomorrow and putting them in the freezer. Freezer camp they went. Adventure more acres. It took us a little while. As you can see, it's now dark. But we did call all three chickens. Got all the de-feathered, de-gutted, and cleaned in the pot. Not bad for some first timers from the city. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.